EFNN, The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this third trading day of the new year. This is Thursday the 4th. We're looking at the Dow at this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Up 132. Absolutely reluctant to go down. Yes, we've got that dip from uh, three days ago where there was an all-time high. Uh, but so far, it's holding pretty darn well. But wait a minute. <clears throat> if you're looking at the S&P, uh, up 2.4 at 47.07, made a lower low today. That's starting to roll over a little bit, uh, but the 9 is still above the 14, and that's good. So we're going to go to the QQQ, index 100, <clears throat> down $1.40 at 396.94. As far as I'm concerned, as long as there's SMH as the semiconductors, down $1.47 to 164.50, as long as they are not rallying, uh, it kind of stalls this rally, it just kind of the overall market. But we're watching this closely because if it suddenly flips positive today, that would be a good sign. Looking at the IWM, the IWM, the Russell 2000 up 43 at 194.64. The nine period moving average is still over the 14. Let's go to gold. Uh, gold is up five at 2048. Tried to rally early this morning, it did, and it's held some of that gain. But the nine period moving average is getting closer to flipping negative. But the dollar actually is holding quite nicely to the upside. It's up two cents, two ticks, I should say, at 102.49. Most importantly, <clears throat> this is a gray leg A. I can't call it a, a blue. In other words, it's just really the start of an attempt to a rally. And that is helping the market. So, uh, so that's hurting the market a little bit. You're looking at bonds down uh, almost a point and a half. 122 and 29 30 seconds. Ooh, that means yields are going high. And let's look at crude oil. Crude oil is trying to rally. It's up 19 cents at 72.88. It's okay. It doesn't look great, but it is trying to attempt to make that 200 period moving average in the weekly chart a springboard, but that hasn't really succeeded yet. So, with that said, there's a lot to discuss when I get back from my show, The Tiger Technicians Hour. Uh, talk about a couple of things and talk about why, why we are on the short side. Uh, since Friday, what we're looking at, why we're looking at it, and why I've only called it a near-term consolidation. And, and I'll explain why when we're here. Basil Chapman, Tiger Ignition's Hour coming up straight after this message. 